Good afternoon. It's Mrs. Murder here to discuss another mystery that you might be interested in reading. You will remember that we reviewed Louise Perry previously. And our previous Louise Perry, uh, let's see, the first one was Still Life, about the artist, and then A Fatal Grace. And then this one is The Cruelest Month. Fatal Grace, if you'll remember, was about, it was set, the setting was in the winter with crunchy snow and storms like that. Well, the cruelest month is April. The reason why is because in April, the flowers start coming up and then what do you know? A storm comes, you get dropping weather, you get freezes, you get hail and snow, and there go those flower buds. They didn't even get a month to live, so that's, that's where it comes out. I'm not going to give all the clues away in this book why this is a cruel month. This is set in, if you remember, the old Hadley house from the last, and everybody is afraid of that place because they think it's haunted or something because of the deaths that have occurred there. <clears throat> And an old friend, college friend of some of the Three Pines neighbors was invited to come and do a reading. And she did the reading and then they said, well, this isn't like a seance. And she said, we didn't say seance. To do a seance, we need someplace entirely different than the coffee house. And so they decided to go up to the old Hadley house and have a seance and that's where our story gets very spooky and very strange this is uh, Louise Perry's third book and it's written with the same depth of characters the same intrigue the same amount of oh my goodness political backstabbing and um, those who you least suspect you, you can't trust anybody in this book because everybody winds up being a surprise I mean not not everybody maybe not the coffee owners coffee shop owners but you'll enjoy reading um, and finding out who called, caused this latest murder, and it's, it's, I mean, after the murder, they took and put police tape across, 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 across the door, and it's in the middle of the seance, and the next day, they went, and the, the police tape was shredded, completely shredded, like a wild animal had shredded it, and they'd heard things during the seance, and all kinds of things, I mean, it, it's, um, one to read during the day, unless you're faint of heart. I don't read many mysteries of this type with haunting and Wicca and, and things that come into play. <clears throat> but it is all the people of Three Pines, and we trust the people of Three Pines, and we, we trust Gamash and his team leaders, everybody who supports him. And we find out a lot of politicking going on there, too. And you never know who is going to wind up being your friend and who isn't in this book. If you pick this one up, it is the fourth in the series. And then we have the next one I'm already reading, A Rule Against Murder. You know, Gamache, Inspector Gamache, just loves rules. And we'll have to see what, yes, this is a fourth book. We'll have to see what rule he comes up with this time. I'm not going to give away a lot of the things that occurred in the last book because they're unbelievable. And at the end of that book, we aren't sure if Gamash is going to just throw his, up his hands and say, that's it. I'm through. Let me out of here. I'm gone. And so I hope in this book to find out he, he changes his tune. And I kind of thought maybe he would want to be, since Three Pines doesn't have their own police department, he would, they would ask him to come there, but that hasn't 
been in play yet. We get more information about his son and his wife and the babies, and they've moved to Paris, and his daughter, and so there's some family ties there. But the mystery will keep you reading to find out what this haunted business is all about and what this Wicca business is all about. Enjoy, and it's a little bit different. We'll see a rule against murder, what happens in the next installment of this series. They are freestanding. You can read one alone and get the whole story in that book. You just don't get some of the backstory on some of the characters. But you're familiar with that, so have a good read. Enjoy it. And until next time, bye.